We have seen numerous accidents on local interstates recently. Many times it's drivers on their phones distracted, generally just not paying attention. But there's one stretch of that highway that continues to be an issue, a construction zone along I-65 in Boone County. Tonight, our Lauren Kostick reports what police are doing to improve safety there and how much longer some of the road construction projects in that area are going to last. On this stretch of I-65 in Boone County, traffic moves fast. Despite long lines of orange barrels and blinking signs to slow down. Some drivers calling it a death trap, others avoiding the area altogether. We deal with crashes a lot, but to see them in a frequent same spot, uh, that is a little concerning. Last weekend, the county saw three crashes just miles from each other, including this one on Sunday, where a semi crashed into a construction barrier, closing the interstate for almost four hours. Axles down in here, got the walls all broken up, so this is going to be a while to clean up. Boone County Sheriff Deputy Wesley Garce says they are increasing patrols, working with NDOT and construction crews, but says it's also up to the public to pay attention. We just ask that you just slow down, be mindful, uh, be a courteous to your fellow driver that's beside you. And the issue isn't new. Last June, we also rode with state police after multiple crashes in the same area. In those cases, speed was a factor. I think people get selfish and they want to get to their destination quicker, um, or they find themselves familiar with the construction zones enough that they think they can drive a little bit faster. And when these accidents happen, it's also taking longer for crews to arrive, with the construction adding new challenges. Usually we can kind of get around, we can use a shoulder, we can use a median to try to get around stalled traffic. But in this case, when the traffic stalls, there's nowhere for anybody to go. Leaving frustrated drivers stuck for hours. It just causes a giant headache for everybody. And right now, NDOT tells me there are two projects happening here in Boone County. One that is expected to be completed in late October, early November, and another next May. But for now, they don't plan to make any changes to these construction zones.